How do you make a great thing even better? That's the question I'm asking as I pick up the Fujifilm X100T. Fortunately, Fujifilm realized it had a good thing going with the first two models, but it didn't drastically change the design, shooting experience, or image quality that were loved in the earlier versions. The X100T's design is so slightly changed from its predecessor that really only experts on the older models will be able to easily tell them apart. Some of the corners have been sharpened, the knurled textures and the dials have been improved, and there's a T on the front where there used to be an S. The fixed 23mm f2.0 lens is the same as on earlier models, but its aperture ring now supports third stop adjustments instead of the full stops that it was limited to before. The back of the camera has a slightly larger display and a new button layout, and it's where Fujifilm made most of the changes in the X100S. The odd thumb rocker has been replaced with a more traditional dial, and the four-way scroll wheel has been swapped for four distinct buttons, all of which can be customized. There's a new menu for accessing Wi-Fi, and the quick menu button has been moved to be easier to reach with your thumb. The buttons to the side of the display are smaller and clickier than the X100S buttons, but the experience of using them really hasn't changed that much. Fujifilm also improved the electronic viewfinder with a faster refresh rate and better coverage. This time around, the company added a third mode, which provides an optical viewfinder with a tiny electronic display in the lower right field of view. You can check white balance, exposure, and most importantly, manual focus with the pop-up display, making it much easier to shoot manually when you're using the optical viewfinder. The X100T is the same 16 megapixel resolution as the S, but it's got a faster processor and can now shoot up to ISO 51200. And you can adjust exposure compensation by up to plus or minus three stops, as opposed to the two that the S was limited to. Though still image quality isn't hugely different between the X100T and the earlier camera, Fujifilm did upgrade the video capabilities. It's got a new 24 frames per second mode for more cinematic recording. But the X100T is still a much better camera for still photography than it is for shooting video. The camera's new Wi-Fi feature was lifted straight from the X-T1. It works just as well here to transfer images to your phone or your computer, and you can use your phone to remotely control the X100T, including full manual exposure controls. There are plenty of other little improvements on the X100T, including more slots for custom settings and a new film style mode that emulates Kodak's vaunted Kodachrome slide film. Both of those things are nice additions over the X100S, and I hope Fujifilm brings them to the older camera with a firmware update, which is something it's done with other features in the past. If you haven't yet shot with Fujifilm's X100 series, the X100T is easily the best option yet. Fujifilm's X100 cameras are amazingly fun to shoot with, and the X100T is the most fun one yet.